everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and I'm happy to see you back to today's video. If you follow this channel for a while, you will know that I was close to buy a Breitling watch several times already. In the end, there was always a better watch I preferred or I put the plans on hold. This time I finally want to pull the trigger to find my piece and have a Breitling watch in the collection. We are at the Dubai Mall now, where we should find a good selection of Breitling watches. The store is located in the Fashion Avenue, the high-end part of the Dubai Mall. A beautiful flagship store with all the models that Breitling has to offer. A quick look around the windows. And now we are inside the boutique. A beautiful interior design inspired of an exclusive industrial loft of the mid 20th century. The time when Breitling watches earned a highly respected reputation as measuring instruments. Unique props such as aircraft propellers, bikes and surfboards represent the worlds of land, sea and air. The first piece is the Super Ocean Automatic 42mm, a sporty, fresh and colorful look for a diver's watch. Made of stainless steel, 500 meter in water resistance and a unidirectional diver's bezel. The watch looks and feels good on the wrist, but comes with only 38 hours of power reserve. The price for this piece is around $4,500. Next, we have the outer known boutique edition of the Breitling Super Ocean. This watch is a bit bigger in diameter at 44 mm and comes with an incredible water resistance of 1000 meters. This piece looks super cool, but I feel that it is too big for my wrist already. Especially with the green NATO strap, it sits pretty high on the wrist. A great tool watch, but not made for my purpose of exploring the streets around Dubai. The price for this piece is around $4,500 as well. Next, we have the Breitling Endurance Pro with yellow dial. These watches are actually super light and sit very well on the wrist because they are actually made out of some kind of, I think, resin material. So they will be very durable and super light. And my favorite for a long time, the Breitling Navitama 806 re-edition for around $8,000. I think this watch was launched in 2019, is limited to a very small amount of watches, but you can still find it every now and then at the boutiques. And if I would buy a Navitimer, definitely the 806 is the nicest of them all in my view, as it is very thin and comes with this super nice classic look, inspired all the way back to the original Navitimer. Then we have two very nice versions of the Breitling R Aerospace Evo on fabric strap. A 100 meter water resistant super quartz watch with two integrated LCD displays, an analog time display and this watch has also a chronograph, calendar, countdown timer, second time zone, alarm function and minute repeater included. But of course as I said it's a quartz movement inside so usually you can expect these functions similar to the functions you would get in a G-Shock. The battery will last around 3 to 4 years and the bezel can be rotated unidirectional. And the titanium version with blue dial and bracelet. I also like this watch for quite a while already as I think this is some kind of real 
professional instrument and definitely represents the spirit of Breitling best in my view. Yeah? Whereas I would always link Breitling to professional watches for pilots and everyone else who's linked to aviation. And in that case, I think this piece is amazing. So this watch comes at around $4,300. Next, we have the new collection of Super AVB04 chronograph watches. These big boys are in 46 mm case diameter, come at 16 mm thickness, have a 24 mm wide strap and are made out of stainless steel. So really big watches. But again, as these watches are probably made for pilots and they should have a good legibility uh, and that even with the chronograph function, yeah, the big case diameter definitely makes sense. The movement also features a second time zone, has 70 hours of power reserve and 47 joules inside. This watch is 100 meters in water resistant and you can grab it in all kinds of different color combinations. I think this uh, green one is the coolest one in my view. But again, this watch is also a bit big for my personal taste, besides the cool uh, design they implemented here. And last but not least, we have the Top Time collection. I think this Shelby Cobra one looks best with the nice blue and white dial on brown strap. The price for this piece is around $5,500 and the watch features 42 hours of power reserve, is 40 mm in diameter and 13 mm in thickness. If you are planning to buy a Breitling watch as well, have a look at the links in the video description of my channel sponsor Chronext. I selected a few very nice Breitling Super Ocean watches which are pre-owned but in brand new uh, condition and those watches come actually at very competitive prices so uh, way below the retail price and with Chronext you have a reputable pre-owned watch dealer with own in-house watchmakers and boutiques all around the world. So also in case you want to join the raffle to win a watch, register for the newsletter of Chronext. So these are the candidates I selected for my next Breitling watch. Which one would be your pick guys? Which one do you think I will buy? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And with that, we are at the end of the video. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and bye bye.